Hello everyone, my name is Alena Shkarov. I'm raw food chef and I'm gonna show you today how to make vegan black caviar. Look at this texture, just look at that. Just look at the consistency, just look how much I have. It's super, super gorgeous and it's delicious. I'm gonna show you how I make it right now. You know, uh, black caviar is actually very expensive delicacy. Uh, so it's, you know, very delicious. It's super expensive. So that's why people usually can afford it fine for very special occasions, for, you know, new set year celebration or for some other special occasions. But you know, it actually goes not only on a high cost for uh, your budget, it's also, you know, as there is overfishing for our seas, it completely devastates the whole ecosystem. And uh, so then it means this caviar goes on a very high price, you know, overall. Moreover, um, uh, when you eat lots of this caviar, it actually also gets, you know, bad results on your health. And, you know, when you eat a uh, lot of fatty, fatty foods, lots of mercury, lots of chemicals, which nowadays our fish also contain because our oceans and seas are contaminated. So that means that all these chemicals come to the fish and then they come to your body and they can cause very um, awful diseases, even cancer. But you don't have to pay this high price, you know, to enjoy the food which you like maybe from your childhood or if you just like, you know, uh, this kind of uh, delicacy yeah you can easily make it at home vegan way and um, this way you actually can eat it every day because it's really affordable it's amazingly delicious and it gives you all wonderful wonderful minerals and you know amazing amazing nutrients because we use them uh, for this uh, caviar awesome ingredients and let me show what exactly we use it we're using chia seeds and chia seeds is a great source of omega-3. So people say I need to eat fish to get omega-3, healthy omega fats into my body. You know what? You don't need to, uh, you know, eat fish actually. If you eat chia seeds, if you eat flax seeds, in this case we're using black chia seeds, you get an amazing high quality omega-3 and you can be happy, you know, with, uh, you know, with your choice uh, overall. <laughs> We gonna also use, so I have here four tablespoons of chia seeds ready. We gonna use uh, raw uh, nori sheets. Uh, I am raw foodie, so that's why for me it's important to use raw nori sheets, but go ahead to use uh, other nori sheets if you prefer. I really like this brand, they are awesome, so I'm using them today. Also, we gonna use amazing um, detoxifier, you know, which really powerful, uh, have powerful properties of detoxification and removing toxins, free radicals and pollutants from your body. This is uh, black charcoal powder. We're gonna use a little bit of this. And we will use just a tiny bit of uh, saltiness and I'm using coconut aminus. You can use soy sauce or any other salt, uh, salty sauce you prefer. Okay, uh, to make this is actually super easy. What I'm doing, I'm using a blender and uh, I need to put in a blender uh, some water and I have here like three fourths cups of water. So let's just pour it in here. Uh, then I'm adding here my uh, uh, coconut aminus. Again, any sauce which you prefer to use uh, to give saltiness to your food. And actually uh, saltiness uh, a lot also comes from this nori sheets. And I need two nori sheets. I have exactly uh, this amount here. And so what I do with nori sheets, I just uh, throw them apart into pieces and put them in my blender. You can also use, you know, like bakami seaweed or you can use kelp or you can use uh, dulce. You can actually have them, you know, in uh, granules like this. Again, it's your preference. You can use any kind of seaweed because seaweed gives us uh, amazing, you know, seafood flavor and it's an amazing source of iodine, which is super important for all of us. So now as we have uh, our ingredients in here in a blender, we just need to blend for like 10 seconds, okay? So we close the blender and excuse me for a little bit of noise. It will be super fast, but anyways, 
chia seeds in here. I have here four uh, tablespoons of chia seeds and we just pour our liquid inside. Okay. Oh, it smells very seaweed -y, I have to say. It smells like seaweed, exactly. And so all we do now guys, we just uh, mix, uh, mix in with the spoon. And we add in, you know, just a little bit of charcoal. I need just like a teaspoon. One sec. Actually, just like a half teaspoon of this charcoal. It's a very powerful ingredient, so I don't want to overdo it. So just like half a uh, teaspoon I add in here. And all we need to do is just to mix it up. And we need to let these chia seeds absorb all the liquid and all the flavors of our uh, of our seaweed, of our charcoal, <laughs> of our uh, coconut aminas. So we need to sit on a counter, you know, 20 minutes or up to a few hours. You can actually make it and leave it overnight if you prefer to uh, use it the next day. But anyways, in, uh, even in 20 minutes, this, uh, you know, liquidy um, mixture will become this what i just showed you it's incredible how these chia seeds they absorb all the water let me show you one more time they absorb all the water and look how it looks exactly like caviar and if you try it like all this seaweed flavor you know a little bit of saltiness and uh, gorgeous black color it's just incredible and how you can serve uh, uh, the caviar. You would serve it uh, the same way like you serve any other caviar. So on crackers, you know, you can use raw crackers, you can use regular crackers of your choice. You can use also, you know, you can add it to your sushi rolls. You know, that's actually a great idea. I think I'm gonna make it. So you make a sushi roll and then you top it with, with a, you know, like half of a teaspoon of this caviar for like additional texture and flavor and it looks just gorgeous, you know, also by the way. I want to show you another way also how we can do it. I'm just having here a cucumber and uh, I want to peel the cucumber, uh, remove the skin and uh, just really quickly using a regular vegetable peeler, just like that. And guys, I will slice uh, the cucumber into uh, slices, so just like into circles or like, you know, any, actually, any shape you prefer. Okay, so we have here, you see the whole collection of these cute, amazing circles. And so all we do now, we will just take, uh, I would say like a um, good teaspoon and put it on top of our, of our like little mini cucumber. And so here we go, we have this wonderful, super cute super adorable adorable mini toast which is all made of plants which is super delicious i would add also some sprouts on top and you know arrange it on a plate and so it's amazing uh, appetizer to celebrate any occasion to really surprise your friends <laughs> they would never believe that this is vegan that this is you know super delicious and super affordable spread which is very well salad and which is very kind for the planet and very kind for you okay i hope you like this recipe please like it comment with any questions subscribe to my channel for amazing updates and new recipes thank you